1623, early Dutch settlers landed on the southern tip of Manhattan. In honor of a favorite city of their homeland, they established a small city that they named New Amsterdam, and within a few years had built Fort Amsterdam, secured with the first of many batteries of cannons that would stand guard there. In 1664, the British defeated the troops at Fort Amsterdam, took the fort as their own, and renamed it Fort James. The Dutch took it back about 10 years later in 1673 and renamed it again, this time Fort Willem Hendrick, then renamed it Fort Anne, then in 1687 renamed it back to Fort James. The English reclaimed it two years later, hanging on to it until the American revolutionaries made their run at it in 1776. The revolutionary forces were turned away until 1783, when during what is known as Evacuation Day, they celebrated the departure of the last remaining British troops in the United States after the American Revolutionary War. Seven years later, in 1790, the fort was deliberately demolished once and for all. All these changes in possession and all with their various batteries of artillery, gave the area its name, the Battery. And yet, 30 years later, one more fort had found a home there. This time on an artificial island just offshore of the Battery. This one was an American fort, built prior to the War of 1812. Named for early 19th century New York Mayor DeWitt Clinton, it was called Fort Clinton, known better by its structurally influenced name, Castle Clinton. Following the War of 1812, New York City took ownership of the fort, notably without cannons blazing. But following years of tradition, joined the fort's historical renaming fever and called it Castle Garden. Soon, it was the place to go for the very best in New York theater productions. Castle Garden has been credited with being a major factor in establishing New York City as the nation's and the world's premier theater experience. Becoming the finest theatrical venue in the United States contributed greatly to the development and unquestioned foundation of New York City being the theater capital of the country. But the castle lost favor when a continuing influx of immigrants began to settle into the area, and Castle Garden was closed. It was converted in 1855 to become the country's first official immigration depot. Millions of immigrants were processed into the United States, all some 40 years before the notoriety of Ellis Island gave it the title of the Gateway to America. Castle Clinton now lies within the Battery Park because when the park was being created, the island was absorbed and made part of it. It has survived to become the park's major landmark. Castle Clinton National Monument. Today's Battery Park is the end result of a 19th century landfill. Its open low-lying landscaped presence contrasted dramatically with the towering skyscrapers of its neighboring mainland downtown that push right up to the park's edge. Battery Park City is a planned community just to the northwest of the park with a residential population of nearly 36,000 and a daily workforce of well over a quarter of a million. In 2005, while a new South Ferry subway station was being constructed in Battery Park, builders uncovered the remains of four distinct, over 200-year-old, colonial-era stone walls, most probably portions of any number of the old gun batteries that were once built there. Continued excavations turned up more than a quarter of a million individual-related artifacts. Portions of these century-old findings were put on public display by the Battery Conservancy in their first educational endeavor to continue showcasing the history of the Battery.